Hey, there, a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now. The renegades who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially. Hugely appreciate that, my friends. Enjoy the show. Hey there, welcome back to Noita Am Suffer of Let's Suffer Together back in the mountains, my friends. And today, well, I have a actually specific idea. You know how I normally... Yeah, there's your bread from the title. Right, duh. Um, normally, I come into these runs with, hey, just a casual idea or, well, a very, very kind of loose idea of what I might want to do involving a certain spell or whatever. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Kind of just, uh, you know, I have a very, very broad outline. But I kind of know exactly what I want to do because I was doing it on stream before. Now, as again, you've seen the title. You know roughly what I want to do. But let me fill you in in all the fine details. But first, I must thank a few members of my Twitch community. But primarily, I must say, Jesus came into my life and saved everything. I must, you know, bow down to the one and only... Jesus, you notice a little buzz going on in your microphone the, today, just in case you want to check that out. And I did, and I didn't notice it on the YouTube vids, but I did notice it on my stream. And I accidentally pressed a button on my interface, which caused that to happen. So, yeah, thank you for the, uh, you know, the notification of such a thing happening. It's appreciated. Again, I don't want no buzz happening. Yeah, once I really started to listen, I could really get... Once you notice it, you notice it, especially if you wear headphones. But I'm, I'm not sure why I couldn't hear it on the YouTube. It was a bit weird. If I went back and listened to it now, I probably could hear it. Anyway, what we're doing today, apart from kicking... Uh, trying to kick this tablet in a sophisticated and wonderful way. Which we will do. So, you know there is now shifting in the game in terms of not all... Not bad, nice and straight, good power. Very acceptable to start the day with. So, you know we can shift with potions. We've pretty much, for the most of uh, not your 1.0 and beyond, we've been able to do that. However, recently in the beta branch update, which we are running, which you can play on Steam, you just need to go into properties and click the beta branch participation, and then you'll have all this wonderful stuff. Now, we have a playlist covering all the updates as well, so you can go check that out at your own leisure. But we can now shift powders in sacks which we've never been able to do before, which opens up an entire new world. But beyond that, they've overhauled the potion system as well, where reactions can go on... Ah, come on. Reactions can go on inside potions, which, again, wasn't possible before. Which means we can now shift liquids by putting liquids in a potion. We can shift powders by putting powders in a pouch. But... Also, we can shift gases by making a reaction in a potion. Like, say, put fire in a water potion. Liquid fire in a water potion makes steam or smoke or whatever, right? Bob's your uncle. You've got a majority steam potion, which you can then shift steam. Oh, I hate these spells. I really do. But while I hate the spells, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And, hey, you're living the dream. Whatever that dream may be. It's good to have you here. We're going to go on a bit of a mission. I need a sack. I really need a sack. I also need... It's a mud potion. That ain't going to be good for reacting. Really, I don't think. Is this a modified biome? It isn't it. I just realised. <laughs> just... I've been uh, paying attention to my, you know, overall survival. Not this stuff. I'm looking out for the enemies. Looking out for, you know, stuff and things. Yeah, I need to be able to get through. Thank you very much. If I could find a pouch right away, I could get on business. Actually, no, I don't need a pouch. What am I about? Oh, no. I'll need a pouch for fungus, because obviously to be able to shift materials in this game from one thing to another, you need fungus. Oh, I'll get fungus here. In fact, I'm not sure if that is fungus, but it's just meat at the moment, grass and wood. Anyway, so we'll need a pouch for fungus so we can shift multiple times. Now, any time we hold a potion or sack during a shift statistically there is a, it's not like it flips a coin when you do it this is all seeded by the way so the predetermination of what will happen is already done right but numbers wise you have a 70 percent chance of shifting the thing in your potion now you could shift that away or you could shift something else into the liquid you're holding so Say we shift 
like I did on stream today, smoke to lava. Now, you might see this wand, which is perfect example, right? This wand is spewing out flammable gas. Where is it? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Hmm. If I put acid in any potion with any other material, will that always make flammable gas? Because I could try and shift flammable gas. I could try and shift smokers. I could try and shift steam. So anytime steam is created either off a wand or smoke off a wand, in the, you know, when you use explosives, it'll pump out steam. So I had steam to lava. So anytime I held a explosive wand, it would spew out lava and um that is very very dangerous we're going on a bit of a mission that we might not walk away from but uh, for the benefit of all humanity uh, we're going on that mission today also my friends um i'll be getting into on stream tomorrow over on the twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together we'll be getting into hell divers too been looking forward to that again a big thank you to fletcher a great member of our community who not only you know kicks some ass with me on the lethal company but uh, also, again, very generously purchased Hell Divers for me. I uh, just out of nowhere, so I could play it. So I'll, I put it on my wish list, and I was like thinking, I made the decision yesterday that I really wanted to play it, and I was going to. So, oh, oh beautiful kick, four points. So we'll be doing that on the old stream. Again, I'll see ways of trying to get the content over to YouTube as well. I don't like just uploading entire streams, though. I really don't. I'm not a fan of it. I don't like the idea. I could have a secondary VOD channel. Um, and if I get into more variety of games that, you know, I can't really find a way to casually do a run for YouTube. Um, or cut out parts of the stream to, like, kind of edit a bit and, uh, you know, send your way. I'll figure it out, you know. But Helldivers, we, we shall be fighting for democracy and freedom and all things good and wholesome or fighting giant bugs and automatons and it's gonna be classy hey just like that get my tablet back now i can't just hold a pouch a potion out and fill my potion with gas it doesn't work like that i need to make reactions happen but that was acid um i could use a bit of my hp now to jump into acid i'm trying to think of how to make flammable gas because i want to make one of ever i want to make a smoke potion i want to make a steam potion steam's the easiest right a bit of water a bit of fire we're gonna go get a cocktail on the go i need just water is that flammable gas like no oh, no that's from the wand either way oh there's the water there's, oh is it the water supply we're looking for though it was <laughs> it was oh come on man um, i've still got an acceptable amount of hp here so we just want in reality because it's gonna uh, you know trying to sort things out on the fly can be tricky in Noyo. especially when i haven't really planned this through i'm just doing this right i've just had an idea i'm gonna make it and try and make it work. I should add try. Um, but any gas will do. Just so we can start the process. And then if we can make more gas, that's a benefit, right? As long as I shift one gas today and shift it into, hopefully, something entertaining. If not, we'll just have a nice casual run. Oh, beautiful. Again, all the HP is... The gods demanded it. And they made it so... This is annoying. And luckily, we got another way to go all the way around. If I could get another HP, this is kind of insane. Start. Look at all that gas waiting to be shifted. The amount of gas in the game can accelerate massively. You've possibly all heard of the legendary acids to flammable gas shift. Us. Look, um, is it flammable gas to acid shift? So anytime, and it's just a recursion shift, really, where. Acid makes flammable gas, so it makes acid. That kind of old chestnut, right, you know? Oh, hold on. Um, there's water in it. I'll try and get a bit of fire. Oh, there's water and oil in there. Nah, it's just water at the moment, but uh, the problem is I can't pick up. No, it's just water and oil, so we need to be a bit more cleverer. There is liquid fire we can get, and we will get it. Yeah, that was a good shot. Needed that shot to... Well, all right. 
because I want. I could leave a bit of oil in the potion, because again, if I have two different potions with two different gases, I can shift that rather excellently, but if I have two potions, if I have one potion with two different gases in, that's still quite nice, because I can just empty the thing. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's beautiful. Now I just need to find a cocktail for a while. Hey. Also, of course, we're looking for one's money. Yeah, I'll get rid of my green. I don't like the green either. Hold on, what's all this done? Oh dear. I mean, this could go wrong. But I can also do this to slow down the enemy projectiles and whatnot. I don't want Doggo getting involved. Luckily for me, dudes decided to pick up a fire... The fire dude decided to pick up a fire wand. Now, the one major problem we have here is Tablet doesn't really do well against these dudes. However, Tablet is blocking the dude's ability to shoot me in the first place. You see what I mean? Tablet is terrible on them. Luckily, I am expert. <laughs> Master of strategy and all around good fellow. I do want the money, though, if I can get it. Ah, seriously. This dude really needs to give up the uh, trick money here. Ah. Seriously, that bounce was uh, insane. Yeah, we'll just go for normal then. Is that green slime? I think it is, you know, because that means we could make green fungus. Which couldn't... I need a sack. Um, Alright, I need to get rid of that and get some of that fungus. Because if I put some of that fungus in lava, I'll make green fungus. Which can't be shifted away due to a shift. It can't just be accidentally deleted from the world if I'm shifting. So, hey, I don't know how long today's run is going to last. But, again, we'll try and stick with it. Yeah, the problem with the green fungus is it does go away. But we do have 1% slime, which is enough to shift. All you need is that 1%. I need a cocktail thrower, and they are key to my destiny here. I didn't want to do that, really. <laughs> Particularly. Yeah, we'll just keep on going. Yeah, I don't really want more than 49% water. Just so it helps me get a majority going. Smoke, hopefully. Or any other. Again, it's any gas. We're just on a gaseous adventure. You can't find gas potions. Oh, damn. You can't just find gas potions. Oh, no. <laughs> I, kinda, I would have liked that, you know? So, where's. Are we going to get a cocktail thrower? Because the collapsed cave shouldn't be modified. Oh, I'll tell you what I might be able to do. Nope. Completely whiff that. Hey, there's still oil in here. Ah, yes. I know why. Because of reasons and things. Right then. I kind of wish I had a teleport. But again, that's my only real objective. To have some funky shifts go on. Anything else is just incidental and just part of the uh, emergent gameplay, I suppose. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, hot, Yes. I mean, we can't pay for what we're looking for here, but uh, again, I can't easily. I mean, maybe here, but I think it's just oil. It's not an... Yeah, it just gives you oil. It's not a... It's not a liquid fire, that thing. Which is kind of annoying. That's a TNT, dude. He can't give me what I crave, so... Now, if we can't do it in the first floor, we'll do it in the second. But we will need a sack. That is doubtless something we're going to need. Now, luckily, the cocktail thrower's car can't get set on fire. Now, we've reached the end of the line as well, so we need them here. Or never. Now or never kind of deal, you know? Frogger can't give me smoke. Now, we're slowly bleeding. Cocktail dude, thrower, man, child, woman can take me out if they really wanted. If they put their mind to it. Go up. <laughs> Hopefully. We get lucky. 
Never lucky, of course. I'd love a teleport right now. Zoom around at 24 HP, you know? Oh, but, all right, anybody out there in the Northern Hemisphere, anyway, feeling a bit springy yet, you know? Has it become spring for you? Because I feel like it's not winter anymore, but it's not spring either, you know? So I'm in a limbo. I'm in a seasonal limbo. But we shall persevere. We shall... Because I want the sun. I need the sun. We'll praise it when it comes, of course. As all good people should do. Yeah, no cocktail thrower? Are you serious? How is there no cocktail thrower? At a party like this. Hmm. I kind of wonder if those pods have any sort of... Nah, they'll probably take me out. Like that, dude. <laughs> those dudes are a little bit easier to tablet now. All right, well... Um, I can't really do the whole acid thing because I don't have the HP. I've got a potential idea. Right, we need to work this one quite nicely. I only need a tiny bit of acid in that. Oh, he's blocking the way now because I need to get through there. Right, lad. Because I really don't want to pop the potion. Are you serious? Oh, come on, man. Oh, there was a bit of acid that fell down. I just need a tiny bit of acid to fall in that potion. And the terrain... Hold on. No, it's still a water and oil potion. Come on, lad. Come on. Don't smash it. I got it. Oh, it's got flammable gas in. Keep on working it, please. Keep on working it. Oh, it's got more flammable gas than oil at the moment. Come on. Keep on making it. Nope. It's got 1% flammable gas. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I am overcome with uh, something. <laughs> oh, come on, game. 1% flam. It was caked in acid. It was just dissolving everything. Uh, hopefully, we might be able to find some ones that allow us to help us out in specific ways. We need to get out of it. We're done it. Or we will be done. You know what I mean? Now, here's hoping. Like, if I found an alchemy lab in this place, that'd have been nice. Because there are specific ways of helping me out here. Like, if I find an acid trail, that's a fire trail, but that won't put fire in me potion. Melee immunity? No, that's actually quite handy. Or, I mean, we're here to, you know, get a singular job done, so I'll play to a standard, but, uh... Oh, I do want explosives as well, because that'll give me smoke off a wand. Like, the bolts, for instance, will do that. Yeah, yeah it's still 1%, looking at the flammable gas one. It's not enough. I think I just got rid of it. Yep, yeah, 39% water. It's fine. Hmm. 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 Nothing too amazing apart from this 10-7. And I'll take the shotgun. Put the 10-7 shotgun on there. Get fire then as well. Not that I feel like I can use it. Because I'll douse myself in water. I'll fire this yonder upward. Yeah, you can't. You know, you just can't do it. It's still just water. So. You know what I mean? Unfortunately. Not the kind of trail we're looking for. Although it might be handy later. There you get the light on the old shotgun there. And we're ready to go. We got our water wand anyway. I don't need a tensor. I don't need the default bomb wand. Having a bunch of water off a wand I can ditch. Quite nice as well. Although we do have money. We have a lot of money. Hmm... Put rockets on a wand, I suppose, and just go. You know, I don't want to think too hard about the ones. As long as I know I can use the ones to survive, it's good enough for me at the moment. I, I don't know. Oh, the bit of lava. Oh, come on. Got a bit of lava. No, I didn't get any lava, but we can... Oh, I've got melee immunity. I just don't have fire immunity. If I can get the tiniest bit of lava in the potion, it might... It'll make rock, won't it? 
Oh, it made steam. Oh, it made majority steam as well for a second. Hey, we'll do that again. <laughs> it's painful, but it is worth it. Oh, oh, I didn't catch that. I tried to catch the uh, lava in mid-air. Now I just need a tickle of it, you know, just a tickle. All right, we're going to... Oh, that's the slime. Oh, I need another... Oh, it's just... How much... Yeah, it's still 1% steam. Um, I'm going to have to go really quiet. That's a really nice table. It's cozy in here, isn't it? Oh, now I've got rock in this potion. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray up a bit of water. Put a tiny bit, like 2%. So now we've got 1% water. And now we'll do the whole thing again. I mean, we're losing a bit of the old HP here. Nope, oh, that just uh, made rock again. No, ah, water and rock again. So, water and lava make rock, but it should also make... What's that what I mean? It should also make the gas, as you saw before, you know? Hmm. Try and get little pixels of it in. Alright, we'll find more sustainable ways. I'm doing such a thing. If I can get freeze field, maybe I should, you know? Ooh, is this... Ah. The thing is, I need to make sure that I don't continually burn in any situation. Oh, I'll tell you what, if that continues leaking, come on, leak, leak on me. Leak the lava on me. I know what I could do. I could literally shoot the lava down. No... I didn't catch them. You see, you can catch little pixels of, you know, even singular pixels, in your potion. Oh, a bed. Yeah, I need more water. Even in my rock potion, I could shift rock. If I sprayed the entire contents of the potion out, the rock would not come out of the one. So, oh yeah, <laughs> that always cast. I should pay attention to that sort of thing. The burning trail, the wand, the fire we just picked up off the wand, won't uh, do anything for the wand either. And we're going to have to get a bit creative here, hopefully. Uh -huh. Steam! There we go! Ah! Oh, now it. What? Ah, oh, right, I get it. So it is creating steam. Problem. We found, and again, this is all science, because I, again, I didn't, I like to not plan out everything in advance so we can all learn together and, right, if I plan everything out in advance, a lot of the time you won't, or I might forget to tell you things that don't work and only show you things that do work, you know what I mean? So when you do try some out, I don't know, you know, might go in with a false impression of, Certain things. Hey, but I like to learn on the job as well, so... I mean, it's, an it's a great excuse for being lazy, right? No shot for you. Oh, a cocktail thrower. That dude actually has fire. And we've got water over here. I mean, he hurts quite badly. Oh, oh, oh there you go, mate. There you go. All right. And we have how much? I could just catch the cocktail and do what I want with it, you know? That's where we're looking at at the moment. So let's move away and... That is a proper liquid fire, though, you know? Right, so we're looking to do something with a 19%. So if I just launch that up and pour it in... Ah, oh, liquid fire, eh? 
So what's it doing to the potion itself? So it's made water. Well, it's not made water, but it's got liquid fire, oil, and rocket. So the cocktails have oil and liquid fire. I'm not sure it's doing anything to the actual water itself. This is actually trickier because it's a lot easier to accidentally, <laughs> accidentally get uh, a majority gas in your potion. Oh, co yeah, it actually tells you cocktails are made from liquid fire and oil in equal measure. Oh, I hate these dudes, man, when they're... Uh... Hold on. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, yeah, fight him. Take him out, man. But I can't be having them traipsing around. Oh, I'm broken. Don't do it, man. Don't do that! Oh, cool! Have a potion. Now, I don't want to take out Uko again, being the founding members of the Uko Preservation Society. Oh, the acid and the gas. Right, 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 right. Okay. I don't mind getting a little bit acided. All right, I've got to kind of run away at the moment. Can I, I can't remember if I can refill cocktail potions. I don't think I can. Let's find out. Oh, I can't. So it's a useless potion, in a way. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that because they exploded. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, so what's ha happening is if I make steam with water and fire, you know, you get an act of condensation. So if anything, you want smoke. And there are alchemy charts out there that can allow you to kind of understand and have a kind of flow chart of how things will, um, you know, maneuver around in that regard. Ah, the shaman. Ah, firing from all directions. Now I don't want this guy dying. Not really. But I've given. Oh, I don't. I have not given up my war. Come on, look. With me now, with me. I just want the tiniest bit of acid you need to shoot above me. That's got... To what toxic sludge potion? Seriously? Now we're just going to have to... Oh, yes! Flammable gas! Nice! Oh, here we go, my friends. So I'm going to have to do this pretty damn quick. I've also got a bit of a problem. Depending on how much percentage, 12%, that's fine. Right, when you shift, you throw up, right? So you can throw up in the potion you're shifting, leading to a lot of shifts turning out just to be vomit when you're not holding a populous potion, shall we say. Right, let's clean up this place and shift the f flammable gas. So when we use any wand that leaks flammable gas, basically when we have shots from this slime ball, it will produce... And pretty cool. Let us just uh, see if we can get that uh, number up. Oh, I'm a bit ill. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Shouldn't be the biggest problem ever. Not ever. Maybe, a, you know, today, this week, month. At the moment. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, we're melee immune. We're not explosion immune, though, so. Yeah, yeah, I like this one. It's got a nice rhythm to it. Nice. I needed that dude to jump down. Oh, we're melee immune again. So these guys, and this is why we took it. We just, you know, don't want to be harassed. We've got a scientific endeavor to do. We're going to either shift more things into flammable gas, or flammable gas is going to turn into something else, and everything is going to be all right. All right, let me just double check. It is still flammable gas, 12%. There we go. So we're going to throw up two times. Hopefully one. I'm just going to do it. You don't always throw up three times in a row, kind of deal. Oh, flammable gas. Oh, my God. Flammable gas is lava. <laughs> it must be. Huh. Rock, fire, and smoke. Okay. Maybe not. Ex I don't know. When we get to the holy mountain, or if we find a wand, or someone ends up shooting something that releases the flammable gas, 
It is lava transformed. It's got to be flammable gas to lava. So this wand will produce lava now. <laughs> well, this spell, sorry. And this is going to be very, very dangerous. Because shifting gases is probably one of the most dangerous things you can do. Depending on the gas you're shifting. It is potentially unwise. As you see, the gas is wasting no time in collecting. Conk mana. I really need it all that much. Oh. Is that guy going to make flammable gas? No. Doesn't seem so. Mainly because it's just toxic. So. Ah, no. But... If a toxic sludge shot creates lava, that's going to create toxic rock, which is horrendous. That's a berserk potion. Not exactly what... Oh, hold on. Yep, go for it. We'll rip them apart. Rip them apart at the seams. They shall be no more. And when I'm done with them. Can I, oh, I need that gone. Need that nest gone. They are horrendous, guys. Uh, job done. Bit of nests. I mean, technically, job done for the shift, right? I mean, I wanted one shift of some good smoke. And we have it now. Is that a polymancer? I think it is, you know. Over yonder. No, shaman at the moment. I'm sure I saw someone else, though. Charmander. But then there's propane gas and stuff like that as well. What are you doing? Maneuvering around all... Sneakily. That squirt, though. That's impressive. If... Right. If I could get a teleport potion, I could make flammable... Not flammable, sorry. This gas that... When you set this on fire, this teleport, it makes a kind of propane gas or freezing gas. And that would be good to shift as well, because some of the spells we use use that gas. Like, I don't think... There is propane and then there's freezing gas. They're not the same. But they are the same. You know, it's a bit weird, that one. They can't... They basically operate, in my opinion, exactly the same. Yeah, at the moment, I've got no water. I'm just going to have to, you know, rely on. Ooh, I'll tell you what. That is really good. I could shift rock now, since rock is the majority. Now there's... Oh, there's smoke and steam in there. Oh, I can't get rid of the rock, though. If I could get rid of the rock and fire, I could shift smoke and steam. But... This is molt. Welcome to molten metal, my friends. Um, I need another potion. I need to. I'm gonna get rid of this because it's kind of borderline useless since it's that you can't get rid of the rock and it's just a pain in the ass. So I need a fresh water supply. If I get a fresh water supply and put molten metal in the water, we'll see what happens, right? I mean, we've had flammable gas, and I'm going to need to probably... Um... I can up-warp a bit of molten. It didn't actually give me any. Which is a real shame. I suppose if I actually Ambrosia before I did it, I'd have a better chance of doing it, right? <laughs> That's what the Ambrosia is there for. Oh, we have a bit now. Nice, we have a bit. So we have a bit of molten metal and lava. Terrible wand. I don't really need that much more HP. Uh, blood. I just need a tiny bit of water. Like the tiniest bit of water. To put in my molten metal and see what gas that makes. And try and make another majority and shift that. 
again, we have to wait five minutes anyway in between shifts. How much was it? It's less than like, you know, it's like 3% molten. Need the tiniest bit of pure... I need pure water, really. I'm saying that. I might make more funky gas. If it's not pure water. Hey, it's spraying everywhere. Nice. Uh, again, I'd prefer pure. I haven't found a sack, which is a real problem. Because uh, I either do all my shifts here, or I um, wait until the jungle. Wish I could just rock it down to jungle and get to the fungus element again, which I might do. Just give me, please. Alright, I'm just going to dip under. Um, you know what I mean? That might have created the magic. Molten metal, steam. Oh, come on. Give me one more percent steam, man. In fact, if I put a tiny bit more water in there, it should make a tiny bit more steam. And it's... Hmm. If I do steam, all bets are off, right? <laughs> if I... All right, that was the quickest I could do it. Steam, 3% and metal dust. It best do steam, you know? For all that is holy, I'm going to need to ambrosia while I'm shifting this. But five minutes will have definitely been up now. I'll tell you what, if I vomit in this potion as well. Oh, trying it. Hold on, is it metal dust? Oh, no. No. Hmm. If it's 3% and 3%. The thing is, decimals do exist in this game. Just hide them. So it would shift metal dust. But what I'd need is a tiny bit more molten metal. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I just spewed it out. Now we've got water. Metal dust. Rock. <laughs> Smart one, mate. In fact, I could just possibly ambrosia and... Try... Oh, I can't jump in the molten. Blood, metal dust, and steam. Ocean. What? Water, blood, metal... Okay, this is... Slightly confusing. But all around, pretty cool as well. Because there was a bit of molten in there, so I was trying to exploit that. Ah, uh, still a bit of molten elsewhere around, so let's see if we can just... I might have got it, you know. That looks like a steam, actually. Metal dust and steam. Chilling at the same... Same price again. Again, the problem is I don't have all too much in the way of uh, HP anymore. Ah, oh, that metal dust though. Because you can't spray the metal out the potion. That's a very tricky one. But I would love to do another one here. Although we could just explore what we've already... Oh, it's a bit of metal. Ah, oh, the acid. Oh, I've already done flammable gas. Let me just... Oh, uh, if I dip in, I might die. But if I put ambrosia in there... Is it me or is the ambrosia disappearing then? It's just going to wash it off, isn't it? Um, I'll probably just die. I can't risk it. I've come too far, my friends. And I, ne I need to show you at least a flammable gas, you know? All right, let's get out of it. Alive. <laughs> Alive, please. And we'll figure out some other shifting some other time on the junglist uh, experience. Yeah, but here's the thing. As long as I demonstrate in some part today what we're talking about, hey, then you have, you know, the idea on instead of, say, flammable gas to acid and fearing a recursion, that you could technically... Uko, okay, are you going to let me pass, bro? You could use it for an actual tactical shift that would uh, actually improve what you're doing. Maybe... I can't take on Uko. Oh, what am I doing? I've, I've had this water all this time. <laughs> hey, Uko's fine. He's a good lad. 
Um, I need to blast my way through there, I think. Uko could jump at me, but he won't. He's a fine fella. So what have we got, is it? Still problematic. But, hey, I mean, we have barely got any perks. And we're, right, I'm just going to go full board into it, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to show you the pain. Seriously, what? I'm sorry. Oh, that's actually wonderful. <laughs> that is like the best thing that's ever happened. So we did flammable gas. So if I just have this on the wand, right, check this. Lava production, man. Lava production. Now, this is quite a small amount. Oh, no. Oh. Well. Ain't that grand. So, if we have all of the fire on it. Because <laughs> I'm betting when I shoot it out, I'll create more, right? Eh, not necessarily. Oh, I wonder if the fire's burning the um, thing away. I don't think it actually creates that much flammable gas. What I need is an actual acid. Acid trail or something like that. But, as you can see, little dots. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep on using it, of course, because that's what this run is all about. And again, I'm not a fan of this particular spell, so I really do despise the fact I have to, you know, utilize this. Um, <laughs> there's not much else I can do. I'm just going to have to fill my ambrosia in with water. I'm still going to see what I can do with this. But because of the dynamic potion mixture, it is hard to control. It can go back and forth. You can get a recursive potion. You know what I mean? Where it turns to steam to water, to steam to water, to steam to water. I mean, equilibrium is often found. Don't get me wrong, but... Again, we have to find anything that operates with flammable gas. That's our mission. And to get down to jungle in a reasonable time, soon, that we may... Uh... Again, it's a shame the spell itself doesn't, you know, leak out a load of flam. Because you'd think it would, right? You just have a feeling it would. <laughs> Considering flammable gas leaks off the wand. Now, we have a very slight leak at the moment. You know, a controllable, manageable leak. And this is a very... You know, bad one. Now, I'm wondering if I can get modifiers that could help me out. Oh, hello. I mean, it's good for digging. Not much, not much else for anything else. Any HP under it? There is. Thank you very much. I'm looking for other potions, like an acid potion specifically as well. I know we've already done flammable gas. Whoa! But again, if we can... Actually, no, a lava potion would be excellent. I don't know what I'd put in it. Could get toxic gas, I suppose. But that's quite a limited kind of deal. There's not that much toxic gas in the game, unless you create it yourself. Oh, it's another Ambrosia. What do you know? On a random series. Safety snowman. We're perfectly safe. Well, we're not anymore, but, you know. A uh, new one. That's what we're looking for. Um. Hey, I need it. I need money. Safety snowman back at it again. There's two of them. Means we're catastrophically safe. We've... N right. You might or might not believe this, you know. Depending on if you have actually watched me for a long time. But we have never died in the presence of a safety snowman. Ever. It is one of the most beautiful streaks known to humanity. I've got an idea. 
Uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna collect some of this blood. Which I didn't. Yeah, when the lava fire is in the blood. What? Let's, you know, dip in it. Dip out. Because I've got the HP to, you know. Oil, blood, and water, and steam, and volcano. Stuff. <laughs> Mm. Oh God. No. And we'll see what this potion is and go hard if it's uh, anything we might want. Berserk. No, I'm not really going to help out. As far as I'm aware. Again, yeah, it could be wrong, but I don't feel. Yeah, we see, oh, I've got a broken wand as well, so. Hey, if I can find a multitude of these type of shots, though. Right, anything flam gas? Flam gas. Hmm. I could put the damage on. I can't barely afford it, but we could. Slime blood? Would help prevent projectile damage. Could go with crit, since I'm going to be bingo on damage at some point. I'll tell you what, though. It's not going to be that good, though, is it? Oh, it's not bad. It's actually pretty quick. I just can't do much else with it. Not lava production. Yeah, we're going to have to take one of these. I think I take slime blood. I'm vulnerable to electric, but... Actually, I've just, I've just realized I'm leaking lava, right? <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, how do I get lava, you know? How do I get lava in a potion? I'm just, oh, how? So I'm wondering if I can just drop down, up and down like this and catch up with a few of the pixels of lava. Yes, we can. On some level, at least. Because mm. I want to... Uh, you can't set the oil... Despite the fact you can do alchemy, you can't set the oil on fire inside. Which is kind of annoying. Anyway, take two. <laughs> this might work. I'm not sure if it would work or does work, but I'm definitely moving faster than the lava pixels are falling. So in theory, I should be able to get them in the wand. It's just a very unproductive way of doing so. However, it's all good. Yeah, I'm not going to go for the extra damage at the moment. I'm just going to trust that this does the job. <laughs> Which is foolish, because I'm basically leaving tiny little, you know, bits of pain for myself everywhere. Which, to be fair, is kind of fun. You know? It means I, I can't rest on my laurels. I can't just sit down on the ground and chill. It'll put uh, this on that one. And I'll be able to save some of these for later if we get a better one. All's gonna be well. <laughs> the sunshine will shine. Shiny. And brightly. <laughs> now, again, as you go through biomes, you're gonna find obviously different types of presentation of uh, material. We'll see what we can do with all that, you know? What is that gas? Because lava to... So, that's steam up there, but that'll condense. Well, if I put lava in any of these potions... In fact, maybe we can do a better job of what we were doing before. Up yonder. Like fall and then fall down and try and catch it on the side there. I've got an idea. Hug the wall. Really not wanting to do it, is it? Oh, I'm actually holding the potion out. It's not complying. I wasn't expecting it to. 
But it would have been nice if it's a. Surely it would have. But we want to fix this broken wand. Try and grab as many potions as possible. And um, live, live a good life. Well, was what was that? Oh, don't tell me. This flamuxium, so it wasn't a sack. Yeah, we'll just march to where we need to be. Hey. Idiots. Yeah, luckily I needed some money. Yeah, we've got the HP to spare. Again, I accepted damage there. The night a classic of, ah, oh, I might as well take damage. <laughs> I've got nothing else to do with the HP. Hey, at least it's a semi-decent shuffle wand. The one thing I'm pretty sure of, though, just because the wand fires faster doesn't mean you get more acid or anything like that. Ah, oh, that eggs eggs could go quite hard in a way. Now we're just gonna go down to the fungus. We're gonna go down to the jungle. And see if we can do some... Now, with all the things we collected right now, see if we can collect some good stuff. I've got the HP. Ah, now this is just a rock and volcanic rock potion. Interesting. Iron stomach, so I could drink. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, I've got the best idea. It's superb. You're going to... You know, swoon with stuff. Um, right, so let me just leak this out to a few percent, maybe. Like 14%. If I put this on the ground, like so, and then we lift up above it with our lucky legs and then just drip in the lava. That does work, by the way. As you can see, water, steam, and rock. So as we continue adding the lava... Oh, it's damaging the potion. Hold on. It's changed into some else. Oh, thank you. It is just, again, a rock potion. Like, the steam just... Hmm... Because again, with the rock in there, saying that, wasn't the rock already in there? Right, how much uh, water do I have? Alright, three water, two rock, right? Yeah, lava and water does make rock, so you, you kind of can't complain on that one, right? But if we make some eggs... Nah, I really needed a tablet here, actually. Yeah, get some slime. That'll do. Although, uh, there is a bit of slime there. <laughs> Especially over the actual tablet itself. Like, can I leak? There's going to be a load of slime down below, so I'm going to do what I just did there. Maybe with fresh potions. This hasn't been an easy exercise. At all. Alchemy. Again, being one of the major tenets and um, principles of the lore of the game. And it's kind of understandable that you're not just going to make it, you know, in a difficult game like this, easy to understand. Now, the problem with the jungle is there's a lot of bad people around. That might just be kind of naughty. I've got no idea that we blast out. Hold on, the accuracy of this one is not to be respected. I 
I should have possibly shifted my... Well, not shifted, but, you know, moved my wands around a little bit. Again, I've been singular-minded. I've been focused on the results. Despite the fact those results are not forthcoming. Not too much. I mean, we, we actually technically achieved our goal, right? It's just that uh, our goal then grew. Oh, I want that. I want that slime. Give me many slimes. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, leak it on me. Oh, the beautiful slime. And we'll do something with that. We'll put it down on the ground and... Slime and slime mist. 19% slime. So I need a flat surface. Flattest you've got. Probably go back into the holy moment. After deleting that guy. I do love a bit of lucky legs though, so this is a nice little... I could actually just try and put multiple liquids in and then put lava in, right? Doesn't really matter what I put in, as long as it doesn't turn into volcanic rock. Which of course it will. But yeah, the potion can smash as well. Under the immense pressures we put it under. Right, you're going to turn into a gas and you're going to behave. Right, just drip in. Drip in food. Slime, mist, rock, fire. Slime, mist, rock, volcanic, rock potion. Slime, mist. Ah, oh, it made... It's got lava transformed in there. Yeah. So it was making flammable gas. So if I could do something like that, drip feed it with the acid. Hey, it's one for a mass amount of experimentation. Like, I need both acid and lava to really go at this. And maybe some other things as well. Ooh, another one. Yeah, I'll just let Bros through there and see what this is all about. Uh, it's just got the uh, gas rock things in. Hey! Um, ooh. What gas does that make? Oh, the smoke up there, man. They're smoking. Ah, oh, I think we, we we know we can get gases in sacks, and because fungus burns, hmm. I'm not sure what solid material you can get in. Well, you could have some sort of reaction in a sack. Doesn't need to. You can have liquids in sacks, especially due to a shift, of course. But I'm looking. I'm looking for. A sack, because this is the last, second to last chance you get to shift, really. Oh, uh, you know, easily anyway. Oh, come on, man. What are you doing? I like how I, uh, you know, took out the enemy to try and get slime when I bleed it myself. <laughs> I mean, this shot hurts me anyway, so what are you really achieving here? Hold on, I've got an idea. Let me just empty this a little bit. we still got the rock in. The rock ain't going to be doing much. I'll want more than 2% anyway of what we're looking for. I should have kept the original potion. And... Or try and get another lava transformed potion. So I can shift flammable gas again. That is now lava, of course. So this one can evolve and change and move with times. What I wanted to do was this again. As much as possible. Uh, there we go. Uh, slime mist, oil, and rock. Great. Why slime mist all the time? Oh, slime mist. It's me getting hurt. Yeah. Of course. Whoa, okay. Well, I can shoot further than you, mate, so good luck with that. I mean, maybe this guy's talents lie elsewhere. Like in alchemy, maybe we should uh, ask him about 
all of the educated learnings he's been, you know, teaching his fellow PC. And how it might uh, help everyone in the world. Yeah, it's a trash one, by the way, obviously. Um, <laughs> but it's the only one that has the, you know, necessary things. Means I uh, can do what I need to do here. Don't well, let me through, thank you. I want. Oh, oh we're melee immune. <laughs> obviously. Worm bloods. Again, just try and get a load of different potions in the potion itself. Nah. Oh, that's what we're talking about. So that was a bunch of flammable gas all in one go, though. Nice. I'm not exactly sure how it was created. Oh, I kind of know. Um, if that plant dude fires, his orbs, when they pop, create flammable gas. Yeah, this is just a terrible one for those dudes. What is this? It's an oil potion. I reckon we can make that work. If I just squeeze a little bit of oil out and then put a tiny bit of lava in, then we'll see what happens. Yeah, they are. They're going to create more lava down that. I mean, I could just dip myself in lava, but I can also just put it down on the ground. The problem is, I'm going to be followed for days. And I just want one more gas. You know, I've been wor I've been I've been working my ass off on this run, man. Using this bad wand with the worst spell in the game <laughs> to try and. Oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. That might need to get paid in the future. Try and create a... Yeah, that might. Oh, no, I'm burning. Oh, no. You're burning. Again, sincerely wish I had a teleport. Hey, the longer we leave it, the more fungus we'll have. Yeah, melee folk may live if they um, don't don't get in the way too much. They may. Problem is, there's still a bunch of lava down there. Uh, let's try not smash. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, if I put ambrosia down, <laughs> will that stop the potion from smashing? I wonder. It's on its side. You can't have a potion on this side and expect it to fill with anything. That's not on its side. Come on, one little bit. Of... Doesn't seem like it's changed colour. Oil, fire, and lava. But there's a... <laughs> Why isn't all the fire in there burning it? You know what I mean? And so we have to deal with stuff like this. And this is more just an investigation on alchemy today, of course with a nice little, you know, push towards a specific uh, thing to try and force other things to come to the forefront. But I actually, during the stream, I can't remember how I managed to create smoke and steam. And, you know, you know, you come back into the night thinking, oh, that's going to be easy. Going to be a uh, walk in the park. And then, in the real, you know, in the real situation. Hold on. How, you can't hurt me. It's me hurting them. Yay. It felt, it just felt like they were hurting me. I mean, I could be hurting myself on my own one, of course. Can I have a look at the one, please? 
I've come all this way. All this way. Oh, that does put a hole in the terrain. Sometimes in the right places, sometimes not. Oh, I'm committed now. Oh, ducks, man. Homing ducks. It's a shuffle one, though, so... Ducks are pretty awesome. Line them up. And they create a bit of gas as well. So gas is everywhere. And think about it. Shifting gas is going to... I mean, I'm showcasing, like, literal pixel change, mate, you know? Oh, you get a single pixel here and there. Woo! But literally, as I mentioned, the ultimate in kind of... Shifting technology in the extreme is flammable gas to acid. And then you'll see, you know, the extent to which this can go. We'll head, we'll head down. Unless... Hmm. Semi-decent one, actually. There is actually potential to shift next floor, if I go to the left. The right, I got left. <laughs> the right of the world. Okay, that is special, mate. That is special. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Don't let me through. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Well, make it. Please, please, make it. Yes! You lovely dude, man. And again, of course, no acid. Not overly joyous with that, but it is what it is. Hmm. I mean, in theory, <laughs> this be pretty cool. Yeah, put oil, the fire, the burning, and the clusters, and we'll see what we can do here. Turn this slime ball into. What the hell was that? You know what I mean? I wasn't expecting that. I wonder if the material itself... Yeah, I think we're modifying the material to have cluster ball, right? Yeah, that's the only explanation. And look at all this gas, this lovely gas coming off this wand. All of that steam. Oh no, sorry, that's the lava going... <laughs> that's the lava going into the water. Yeah, I'm up to date with everything that's happening. <laughs> uh, I've lost half my HP already, man. Oh, I've put water in there, Steve. Yeah, we get steam. We get, like, 1% steam. Hey, so if you're looking for a fine, delicate operation in Noita that'll, you know, take a lot of your effort, knowledge... No, there's nothing more... Hmm. Fungus gas, man. I'll tell you what. That looks like a wonderful potion. To try and put... I mean, all I can do is try and put the lava in. Nope. That's all I can do and hope for some gas. Can you stop falling on your side, please? I've been... I'm trying so hard! <laughs> well, do something for me. Rock! Yeah. Not even steam. Like, even... It's just turning the water to rock, which we know happens. But you do also get a byproduct of steam as well. And, uh... Doesn't seem to want to be doing that. So the water will be disappearing in that one. 
Ah, oh, I'm incorrect. It's only showing the first three things. The real problem is I can't just spray it out. Now, if you're looking to shift a solid material, making it in the potion and then squirting all the liquid out will leave you with just the solid material. So have at it, I suppose. Whoa. Anyway. There we go. With our very, with our most very, very sly lava drooling wand, we shall now go to war. For science, time has ended, unfortunately. With, uh, eh, to be, not unfortunately, I, I've learned quite a bit, to be honest. I, I, I've learned that I need to learn more. Which means, you know, limiting the spoilers in which I have showcased here today, of course. Oh, I could dip myself in that, see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, people everywhere. I mean, I, I kind of need my HP. It's a uh, long-standing tradition. That we utilize it to survive. These people, though. And this one's more so than... Oh, come on. Yeah, I'll tell you what, these new cluster bolts in the beta branch go so hard, but they're so dangerous. The problem is, with the HP sloughing off me... Do I have any cheeky way of winning? <laughs> you know, do I have anything... Do I have any magic I can literally pull out my hat at the moment? Because we're losing the battle. I'm not sure we'll win the war. I mean, we have eggs. Race. But we shall see, as we shall see all things. Come on, man. You don't want to do that to your boy. I mean, if we play confidently with an assertive dominance of the situation, nothing shall stop us. <laughs> Apart from some rogue shot that we never saw coming. We need to go round so we can continue. Medic! How you doing, bro? <laughs> well, as I have said, Education is important. Hopefully through witnessing someone's extreme ignorance. Now, I know you're all going to sound off in the comments section or already have done saying, oh, well, you needed to do this and that and that. It's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know I needed to do something else. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I am fundamentally aware. And, uh, hey, while I might read your uh, educational comments on how it would be done. I'll find out during the natural course and progression of my life. It'll just come to me like uh, an epiphany. You know? Despite that my 6,500 hours in the game, dude can't even... <laughs> dude doesn't even have command of the gas. Oof. Well, that is certainly a humbling experience. Although, I... I'm going to argue that the RNG brutally, you know, inserted itself inside us and thrusted without loop. And that was the uh, fine result of the day. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed today's presentation of an educational variety. And the old night of video gaming. Anyway, we stream it live. We stream live at twitch.tv forward slash less stuff together. Come and join us for some great interactive entertainment. Again, join us with the Renegades. Join all we have to offer. Not only Neuer, but a lethal company. Hell Divers 2 coming tomorrow. And all good things.
But a big thank you to everyone who joins us here, specifically your time. Thank you for that precious resource of yours. And again, if you did enjoy the video, clicking that like button helps us out. You know, don't be wasting my time. I need your likes, bros. It's super helpful. I think it's like a few seconds for you. So if you did enjoy it, hey, you know, I'm not saying you owe it me, but... Um, you know, reciprocal relationships and stuff is the foundation of a healthy stuff and things. You know, but you can always subscribe as well if you want to go the extra mile, you know. Make me smile. I didn't intend for that to rhyme, but it did. Regardless, like the names you saw at the start of the video, the people who contribute on a monthly basis, you can click the join button down below. And do so yourself as well through two different tiers whether you want to you know be on the front or the back end of the video or you want to give you know about five six dollars or i don't know i think it's like five six pound actually or one pound a month hey, it's all there for you laid out or you can go through coffee forward slash lst supper link in the description as well to give one-off contributions and source it out through that way but my friends, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Discord and other things in, this, in the description as well. I'll catch you soon. You take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are in the world. Hey, again, happy Mother's Day to everyone uh, who's celebrating that. And, uh, you know, hopefully spring can come really quick and we can get all sunny and shave my beard and I can show you my... Fan well, I'll show you on stream at my fantastic chin. Uh, I, I had a beard for so long, I shaved my chin and my chin had kind of grown really kind of... <laughs> it was like, you know, like Chad bro chin, you know? I was surprised by its thickness and strength. Can't be letting the beard hide it in summer. Especially when it'll just get all sweaty. But summer, uh, sp uh, winter, sorry. Yeah, I need a beard. Uh, you know, need it. I'll uh, shrivel up and die from the cold otherwise. Anyway, <laughs> enough of me. You go and disperse as you may. You may uh, do as you will, of course, anytime. But now, specifically, I'm telling you, you should probably, you know, click on another LST video and I'll, uh, you know, see you there instead. But until next time, take it easy. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the, cell. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you soon. Peace. Hey, but a huge thank you to all the other people, the other selection of people who click the join button down below the pounders. Again, hugely appreciate that, my friends. Thank you for your support. It makes all the difference in the world each and every month. It all adds up. Much love for your support. Again. It makes huge differences. Huge strides. And again, changes the entire world as we know it. Not even being sarcastic. Like, seriously. Caffeine is required. And you help with that, so appreciate it. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Everyone there. And everyone who, in general, who does anything. You know, wakes up in the morning. Congratulations. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Peace. <laughs>